going on guys so this is going to be a preview video and I'm gonna try to start doing these a little bit more they're sort of gonna give you a sneak peek at some of the updates that are gonna be coming out on Friday my main goal since coming back is to try to stick to consistency and I want to have an update out every Friday without being delayed so that's my goal is really to just eliminate any delays um, and the simplest way to do it is really just finishing updates I think a lot of the reasons why um, we have delays is because a lot of updates are like half coded um, so not, you know, so, so basically it's hard to release like an update on that date because half the stuff is half coded. Whereas as the stuff that is done is just kind of waiting there for stuff that isn't done, if that makes any sense. So um, that's one of my biggest goals. And uh, with that, I should be able to make these little preview videos. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know. If you guys don't really care, you want to just have the update out on Friday, let me know that as well. So on this account, uh, I don't know. Right, let me Let me log out real quick. Uh, I think my dimensions are weird. I think my dimensions are weird. Don't quote me on that. If you did not see uh, the video that John uploaded, John uploaded our Debo Bros, our Debo Twin Accounts, our first PKing video with that. Our first and only because we're not Debo Bros anymore. Um, we're just normal peers. So uh, I think he's actually recording a lot. So if you're interested in some of the old school peer PKing, as well as just other stuff, I believe John is coming back to YouTube. He's been, he's been mulling it around. He's been trying to get good software. Uh, so if you really want to see some more videos from him, go to his channel. Leave him a like in one of his videos. Tell him he sucks. Put, put, put like in a comment that John sucks or something like that. I think he, he told people to do that. <laughs> he told that people to do that in one of his videos. So let's let's uh, return the favor. So if you go to the bank, tap in your bank pin, it will no longer keep the interface up. I'm trying to get it to where... It will, uh, these will sort of be kind of like live. Live as in I'm still in the middle of doing them rather than 100% uh, official. So this is essentially the code right here. Uh, so it's basically saying if it's true, send you this message. And it never. this is what I added right here. It's supposed to remove the interfaces and that's working. The problem is it's not adding, or it's not opening the bank. So what I'm gonna try to do is see if maybe I move it up further. It's, I don't know why it wouldn't remove, It's it, it should have should open the bank, so I don't I don't know. Obviously, that would be way more convenient, but I think either way, that that right there is still better than before. So it's a small improvement. So let's uh, update the server and see if that test did anything. All right, so let's test. I'm still gonna mess around with it, even if we don't get it here. But uh, either either way, we'll uh, we'll keep trying. One, two, three, four, boom. No, so I'm not sure exactly why that's not working. I'm definitely going to keep messing around with it. But I, I do think that that right there was better than it was before. Because before that interface would just stay open and it would be, be kind of annoying. So that's it. That's it for sneak peeks. Thanks for... No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get into the next feature. So any 99 or 500 mil XP, that, the things that yell, you'll now get pug points for that. Loot hunters in the... Uh, LZ? LZ? I believe they're here. No, 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 no. Easy. Elite zone. My bad. Uh, where are you at? These, uh, their kill counts may not be tracked. Obviously, this is the elite zone, so not a whole lot of people care or even know about these. But for the people who do, you can now track your kill count. The loot balloon that randomly spawns. Um, it is, it has been buffed, and then I've added a couple more spawns. My idea for it is that every single update. Or not necessarily every update, but every once in a while, I'll just add more spawns. And over time, it'll have like 500 possible spawn locations. Not that many, but you get the idea. Um, and the loots have been slightly buffed. Slightly buffed, not like crazy. We're still trying to evaluate it. Um, and it will now yell if someone gets it. So obviously it spawns... Uh, I think it's... I don't want to say six hours, but it's around... It's a lengthy amount of time. And uh, whenever it does spawn... Uh, it, it's going to take a while, so I can't really show you that. So just trust me that that works. If anybody catches... Uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? I think I can test that. One sec. I think if I just spawn it. Oh, I already had it swiped. If you ever wonder what they look like. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it does work. So, yeah, they can see what the message looks like. The balloon has been looted. And then there's a uh, hint at some of the rewards. Uh, Materia Symbol 7, Clue Box. I uh, upped the Crystal Keys. You also It doesn't tell you, but you do get points. You get some raid points and some pug points, so keep that in mind. So I didn't make many changes, but the revenants have uh, received a little bit of changes. 
we've been doing a lot of them in on old school and we figured we might as well make them uh, a little more useful and more worth killing on uh, revival so I actually updated the names to these things if you get one as a uh, drop it'll now yell it I also balanced some of the uh, drop rates these things are a little bit more rare than they should be considering the fact that they uh, are worth you know not as much as some of the other items uh, so I changed those rates around a little bit there's a couple minor changes here and there you might not notice too much if you don't do them often um, like if you you know if you do them if you've done them every single day then obviously you'll, you'll notice the changes but a couple improvements there another one that's really just a quality of life change is Watson the dude who gives you master clues is now way better uh, if you look over to him boom right click option so if you right click him you can just make a master clue and it'll uh, if you have all the stuff in your inventory which let me spawn it all right so if you have all the stuff you can just right click him master clue boom so now if you're if you're making a bunch of these it, it should be a lot more convenient Okay, so uh, one of the last things I want to show off is the Sinister's Chest. Uh, so this is sort of the upgraded crystal chest. I've put it here. This is one of the, uh, the places where it's going to make the most sense. I don't, I'm not going to reveal too much of the information because I don't want to um, change things or make anybody panic. So all I'll say is don't panic. And um, if you have any suggestions, it is not too late to give me your ideas if you, um, if you give me them as soon as possible. I have, uh, I have the file open. Uh, uh, making making like boxes and chests uh, is one of my least favorite things to do because it's just so hard to think of what's what to put in there that's worthwhile. You know, I want every item to be good. Uh, but I want it to all be balanced, and it's it's really hard to do that. So I've had the file open with most of the loot uh, pretty much this whole week. It's just been there, and I've been trying to think of ideas. And if you look, there's not going to be a lot of ideas. So. Uh, again, let me uh, let me let me captain my ideas. So um, you will use invention. That's obviously one of the reasons why they're put here to make these. It's going to be all lower tier um, like stuff and whatnot, and it actually is going to be a decently cheap way to get uh, invention experience. Um, and in terms of how cheap, right now it's going to be the most cheap, and then later on it might get different. But you'll know what I mean by that once it's all fully released. Um, and I don't want to talk about it in this video or show it off, but I'm, I'm thinking about testing something with the combat mechanics this week. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in this update, and trust me, you're going to notice differences. And we'll see how everybody feels about the differences. And then based off of that, we'll, we'll see what we want to do. But it's only going to be like a temporary thing. And I'll probably have a separate video on that by itself um, later this weekend once the update is out and everything. So... We'll talk about more of that soon, but let's uh, let's show off some of the chest. So I've still flirted with a couple of different ideas. Uh, it's going to give you dark opponents. Uh, I think you get ca uh, coins from the normal one, so I, I just made a dark opponent just so it's kind of going to help you out. Vodka. <laughs> I may or may not be an alcoholic, maybe. Uh, so we'll just kind of oh, that's a uh, that's a very rare right there. Don't trust me, you're not going to just get whips whips for days that is one of the rarest things you can get I'm still flirting with uh, ideas and uh, um, you know just everything with it again if you have any suggestions shoot I wanted it to be a lot I, I, I wanted each key to be sort of comparable to 10 crystal keys if that makes sense and if you're wondering if this vodka does anything uh, no well sort of 